All right, so we got another official trailer for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, and it looks absolutely incredible. I love the visual style they're going with. It's obviously inspired by Spider-Verse because it combines both 2D and 3D styles, but at the same time, it's not trying to copy Spider-Verse either. Spider-Verse has clean textures and line work, and overall just uses different techniques to make it look like a comic book, whereas this movie's style looks more like it was painted on a canvas. It has rough textures, sketchy line work that gives the animation a hand-drawn feel. I also love the 2D thought sequence as well. It looks like a kid drew the turtles, and it looks so cute, I love it. And in this film, the turtles are voiced by actual teenagers, which is something else I love because it's a fresh new take on the turtles. It's something we've never seen before, so it sets this film apart from other uh, adaptations. And they all sound amazing, they all have great chemistry with each other, and they fit the roles so well. I mean, if they wanted to, the studio could have gotten, like, Chris Pratt to voice Leonardo, and they could have gotten, like, uh, The Rock to voice Raphael, but they didn't. They got actual teens that were right for the job, so I, I have huge respect to them for doing that. Now, this movie does still have, like, a lot of big names, like, huge. It is, like, stacked with big names. We got Ice Cube voicing the main villain, Superfly. I also got uh, Post Malone, Giancarlo Esposito, Paul Rudd. John Cena, Seth Rogen, Maya Rudolph, just a bunch of big names. My personal favorite uh, casting choice in the entire film, Jackie Chan as Splinter. He just he just works. Like, he, he gives off the vibe of, like, a wise old master. While at the same time, na like, nailing the more, like, comedic lines. So, yeah, I'm really excited to uh, see what he does with the role. But, yeah, I just love the fact that they actually gave the spotlight to a group of uh, young, talented actors instead of, like, casting celebrities like they usually do. Now the designs of these turtles look absolutely amazing, they are instantly recognizable, they look like the Ninja Turtles, they do not look like 8 foot tall monstrosities, uh, like the Michael Bay versions, they don't have all this like clothing and like, un un like uh, accessories and everything, they look like the Ninja Turtles, they look athletic, uh, they look agile, and uh, and they have like the, like the, tra the traditional head shape, they have the like muscular anatomy and everything, they, they just look like the Ninja Turtles. My personal favorite design would be Leo. Uh, Donnie as well, you can see he's got like headphones around his neck, he also carries around his cell phone with him. Uh, and also Raph has like a tooth missing. Just small, like just subtle details like that to tell, uh, to like highlight each turtle's personality. So yeah, I really like the designs. Uh, I do have like two, two nitpicks with them. Uh, Donnie's design, I don't really like the glasses. They look fine, I would have preferred if he had goggles. I think they would have looked cooler and they just would have suited him more, in my opinion. Raph as well with the full head bandana, I don't really like it. We've seen it a lot and I just prefer if he just had the, you know, the traditional bandana like the, the rest of the turtles. But yeah, overall, uh, the designs look amazing. The humor in this uh, trailer as well is also really good. Like, it's not the generic kind of kids movie humor. It actually has thought put into it, like it's actually well written. And like, some of the jokes actually got me to laugh out loud as well. So, uh, so yeah, the, the humor looks really good. The only problem though, it seems like they're going like too into the humor. I'd prefer if this movie had like a darker storyline, like it, I hope they have some dark moments in here because uh, at least from what I'm getting from the trailer, it just seems like they're going way like too comedic with it. So yeah, I'd prefer some more like darker, uh, like a darker storyline with it, but yeah. Hey, are you still watching the video? Well, I should let you know that I have a series, an animated series called Most Wanted. It's a sci-fi crime show. I did all the animation. I got a lot of voice actors in it. I have one episode left. If you're a new viewer, you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's in the play playlist. It's in this playlist right here. I'll link it in the description in the pinned comments. Watch it. Watch it. Okay, bye. That's it. Love you guys. Okay.